Honey, I don't believe that. What you said doesn't make sense. Well, it makes sense to me. Well, I don't believe that Chad is a hit-and-run type of guy who doesn't want to work. I mean, he works for me all the time at the school. I ask him to do something, he does it. He just jumps right in. I agree with your father. I mean, look what Chad's done at the book cafe. He's completely turned that place around. <sighs> yes, that place is a cash cow now. I mean, it wasn't Sue. They were going to shut that place down. And Chad's responsible for that, honey. I mean, for a kid from the streets, he's got an extremely strong work ethic. He's always taking responsibility. Kid is outgoing, he's friendly, he's willing to meet new people and help kids. Have you heard the rumor about Tiffany Thomas? Um, she's the girl that hangs out at the book cafe sometimes. I, I barely know her. Apparently she's pregnant. Wow. I mean, she's really young. Does she have a boyfriend or anything? No, she doesn't have one. The boy got her pregnant? Isn't even talking to her now. He's acting like he barely knows her. Oh, poor thing. Well, I wonder who the guy is that turned his back on her. Anybody that we know? That's the worst part. You're saying it's Chad. You know, maybe Chad isn't as responsible as you guys think he is. Maybe he has an ulterior motive for finding kids to help, okay? An ulterior motive? What do you mean, Whitney? Why do you think that Chad isn't a responsible young man, Whitney? I mean, is there something that your father and I don't know? Well, I'm just saying, maybe you don't know Chad as well as you think you do. Well, honey, I think I do. I mean, the kid is 100% into his music. He's not going to quit until he's a success. And I put my money on that. He is at a disadvantage, though. How, sweetheart? Well, he's lacking any education. He doesn't have a college degree. It's possible he doesn't even have a high school diploma. Yeah. And that's a big strike against him. And another, he doesn't even know who his parents are. Whoever they are. I mean, how could you give your own kid away? I know, I mean, Teresa and I will be walking through the mall or something and looking at all the faces of the people, thinking that any one of them could be Chad's mother or father. I mean, anyone in harmony. Chad is not my son. Well, I'm sure it's inconvenient to consider the facts. But yes, I think he is. No, he isn't. And how can you be so sure? You want to know how come I know that Chad Harris isn't my son, Ivy? Mm -hmm. Because my baby died. Because my son's dead. And your father's right. I don't know who or wherever Chad's parents are, but they're not good people. I mean, they didn't even have the decency to go through a proper adoption agency. Yeah, the poor kid had a rough time growing up. I feel really sorry for him, I do, but that still doesn't mean that I want him getting involved with my daughters romantically. Mom, where is that coming from? I'm the one that just said that I don't think that yeah, he's I, as responsible. I know, Whitney. I just, I just had to say that I'm, I am very grateful to him for saving your life and... But I am aware that you two are from very different worlds. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, and I don't want to tempt fate by saying it out loud, but there are a lot of unwanted pregnancies in Harmony. Well, I understand what you're saying, Mom. But my point is, I would never, ever let that happen to me. I would never cause shame or pain to this family. Actually, it's been nice that your moms and pops let me hang here, considering I couldn't afford to go to the hospital. But, uh, you know, now that I'm better, I guess it's time I uh, get back to my own place. What am I doing? I, I have to stop thinking about Chad. I can't get mixed up with a guy like that, right? Well, at least he's out of the house. That'll make it easier for me to get him out of my mind. And soon he'll be totally out of my life for good. For good. Man, I can't believe these numbers. 
I mean, you got to be a millionaire to live in these places. Here's something in your price range. No, man. First, last, and security. I ain't got that kind of money. Well, maybe we can help. No, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I ain't borrowing money from nobody. I just don't understand why somebody want to call City Hall and complain about my apartment to begin with. Finally find a place I can afford, a place I can call mine. Some fool got to go and get me kicked out on the street. What's going on? What are you doing back here, Chad? Did you just forget something? Chad's building was condemned. Someone complained about it to the city. Yeah, I did. What? Wait, you did? Yes. I called the building department. I mean, the place was in horrible condition. It wasn't safe for people to be living there. What? My apartment building condemned? I just told him that it was dangerous. I didn't mean for them to condemn it. Yeah, well, whatever you meant. <laughs> I'm out on the street with no place to live. Oh, well, just find another place. I'm sure there's plenty that you can afford. Oh, what? You, you think it's that easy? Well, did you just snap your fingers or something? Hey, Whitney, look at this. Look. First month, last month of security. Now, where do I come up with that kind of money, huh? I don't. I mean, take a look around you, Whitney. This, this is what I call a lap of luxury right here, this. And maybe you thought my place was some kind of a disaster or something, but I'm here to tell you that, yo, it wasn't that bad. All right? Because I've lived in worse. Much worse. Like the street. Oh, yeah, that was nice and cozy. Sometimes I'd be lying on the doorstep. Yo, I've stayed in places that made my apartment look like the Crane Mansion. Look, there has to be a room or something that we can find. That I can afford. Did you be listening? I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. Hey, well, sorry just doesn't cut it with me. Just, just... Wet. I really thought that I was doing a good thing. Sweetheart, but instead you caused Chad the place he was living. But I thought I was just doing the right thing. Honey, listen to me, okay? The next time you decide to do something that will affect the lives of others, please, talk to me or your mom first, okay? So what's your idea, Simone? It's simple. Not to mention perfect. Chad, you'll live here with us. No! no.